Hello everyone, we're going to be doing a review or over review of the T T one ten E four. So the T one the T one ten E four is an American tank tree tank destroyer of tier ten. It's say it has a no it has its younger brother or beta brother, the T one E T one ten E three, which has a sort of an advantage and disadvantage over compared to the E four. The E four you are going to mainly play if you want a turret style partial turret tank destroyer play style compared to the E3, which is a, a partial non turretless TD. So the E4 has uh, 203 millimeters of frontal turret armor, 254 millimeters of frontal tow armor, 152 for the sides and rear of the turret, and 76 for the sides of the hull, and 38 millimeters for the rear of the hull. You have decent view range. Uh, two, two, two sixty four. Your concealment's okay. Your damage per minute, it's pretty okay for a hand destroyer. The reload, it's questionable for its alpha and how much damage it does. But the degree, the the degrees up and down are okay. You have ninety degrees to the right and left. So you have the feet of one hundred. You have one hundred eighty degrees view range or field of fire compared to. The E3, which is only five to the right and five to the left. You have 35 forward and 10 we have 10 in reverse. Your average speed is going to be around 27 to 29 if you equip it right. Uh, on the way I have my E4 equipped is I run calibrated shells because I'm not going to be risking uh, uh, bounces over penetrations. Ban and this sits in the whole debate of when you want to be running calibrated shells, but since it's a tennis I'm going to be sitting on a champion a lot, even though people act like they shouldn't. So I'm going to be running, I'm going to be running enhanced John Lane Drive, Virtual Stabilizer, or you can run uh, Rifle John to the dead that dispersion down to 0 0.301. It's up to you which really you want to use, but I prefer uh, the aim time decrease. Since you're tennis you're not going to be, you're not going to be running defense systems, you're not going to be running, ramming anyone. Improve the symbol because you don't have your whole your your armor is all over the place. There's no point trying to increase it because it's like three percent increase of like barely nothing. Toolbox because it's enhanced range is useless. The ten stars you're gonna be sitting, so you don't can't you don't need camouflage that to increase the mobility and and engine and accelerator to increase the mobility just a slight bit. And consumable delivery system because you're going to be using a lot of adrenaline and repair kits. So. On to the replay that I have acquired for this video. So, so, so this is actually not my replay, it's a sort of fellow clanmates or sister clanmates replay that I have asked to borrow for this video. Time to roll out. So by the way, I think this it's reloads under 13 and I'm assuming it's Done rammer. If not, then it's calibrated shells he's running. But yeah, he's running calibrated shells. But Spot on seven is trying to get his team to go up to the I seven, but the IS voice says no, because he's not rushing and thinks he knows what he's doing. Tron right decides to push, gets hit for three ninety two. Tron rides and gets hit for six thirty. Uh, spot in possession of that. Now he's moving to see if Ned by a shot at him. He loads the PCR to try to hit the turret. The turret is time to troll sometimes. Misses, just barely, but misses. He's trying to stay out of the line of fire of the Tron Raiden, doing his best he can. But he's trying his best. Hits him for 597, slightly of a low roll, hits adrenaline, to pops the adrenaline to increase the reload. Or to to reload faster. So we are on cap 1 for now, someone's trying to cap B. Godzilla is going down to cap C, or maybe not. Hits the IS-7 for 623, there's also a fellow E4 on the side. Acknowledges that. Uh, chat being chat. 
Yeah, so our team is currently capping both A and C to increase the cap once the taste does still backwards, but you never know, you gotta have a plan for the future since taste. Fires AP into the into the trash rail, breaks some breaks the trash, hits him for six thirty-five. Now he's just basically frontlining a four, which is something you wouldn't want to be doing, but because of how distracted the enemy team is, you will be able to get advantage of it because you have the enemy team. Basically, you're, the entire team doesn't know what to do, and you bounce that shot. Uh, now we just wait for the reload. E100 comes in to help clear out or push back these the D4 and the E100. E100's moving on to smack. 50B is trying to attempt to reinforce the drill on the E4. Hits the E4 for 696 and traps him as well, giving the final kill to uh, number who E100 gets deleted by the IS4. Hits finally hits with 500 as a chat post. It's, it's Let's hit again. Combine A50B is coming in now and just dumping his magazine into him. Doesn't have a shot on the chaser. Bit of ram damage on the other side. It's behind him. This is where this is where the E3 would have had shot trouble with. You wouldn't really have to hit the shot like that. You have to turn around. But he hits him for 912 and damages his ammunition, which increases ammunition. His reload by about twice over. Maybe just enough time to get the kill on from the E100. Maybe not, because he destroys the kill on the 268. Our team is now leading. It's just 50 beer mini. He is at 5,504 damage. I don't know why you don't attack you just run. Because it's straight on one. Loads AP. Comes to 52. E100 finishes him off. Finishes off with its. Ah, uh, stone in the air as a salute. It's a mastery, it's a high caliber and a confidant. Uh, destroys one enemy. Sits damage of 6,000, 6,556. Total credits of 54, 293. Um, let's see, I'll what that's how he actually does it the highest damage, double only the aim at 50B for the entire game. Fires 11 shots, hit, 10 of them hit, 9 of them penetrate, destroys. It sits as the enemy, destroying only one of them, 6056 as I said, spots one enemy, damage dealt, but 759. It's received three, and they all penetrate, none which chase. Efficiency, two shots on the Tron Riding of totally 1227. Damage between two modules, uh, one shot on the I7 of 623, two shots uh, on the 268 uh, of 1590 and killing him. Two shots on E100, total 1305. One shot on the IS, I mean on the E4, totaling 659. And one shot on the AMS 50B, totaling 652. Uh, try to see if he's not profitable, so he's probably running a rare booster. XP, so you can see where the XP bar is, but this is times 5, so it's not hard to tell. And awards, you can see just how well he did. Uh, but that's this replay for, for this review for this for the E4. Until next time, I'll see you all later. Goodbye.